getting here like the easiest thing on the planet. Like, I thought it was gonna be so difficult to like find my hotel and like get a SIM card and like all that jazz, but it was really, really easy. So I'm kind of happy about that. I'm gonna go to Revolving Sushi Restaurant right now. I'm so excited. <laughs> I like it. Let's try the strawberry piece now. Yeah. Oh, it would be really good if it was all strawberry. Good morning, everyone. It's my first day in Japan, and I kind of have no idea what I'm doing. I used ChatGPT to look up what to do, so I'm kind of just going to follow what ChatGPT says I should do in Japan. I'm walking to a famous matcha place right now. At least I think it's famous because it has so many reviews. But I've been walking all day and drinking a lot of shit, but not water. So I'm gonna try and get some water. Surprisingly, I also haven't had a beer yet. There's like beer everywhere and I'm just like, well, maybe I'll wait till later. It's only 1 p.m. and my legs are like killing me. I'm like fighting the urge to like go back home and lie in bed. Okay, it's like 2 p.m. and I want to go to the sky tree, which is right in front of me. See, it's right there. But I want to go to the sky tree at sunset. So I don't know what to do until sunset. I kind of want to get ramen, but like I'm not even hungry and I've been eating nonstop all day. But also been walking, so maybe I'll get ramen.
I've been walking so much, my legs feel like they're literally gonna fall off. But I'm finally at the sky tree. It's like right over there. I just got home and while I was at the Pokemon store, I got Pokemon cards, which is what I mainly wanted. I haven't opened Pokemon cards in forever. All right, let's see the cards that I got. I hope I got a cool one too. Oh, wait, this one's really cool. What the heck? Wait, this is like one of those rare ones. I remember from my Pokemon card days back in the day. I think this is a good one. I think these are like supposed to be really rare. Look at me. Oh, I also got this like little figurine. I don't know why I did, it was cheap. Let's try the highball first. Oh girl. That tastes like pure whiskey. Is it supposed to? Oh my God, I almost just got a foot cramp. That was scary. Ooh. I like this one more.
It's a bit later and today was cute. I walked around a lot and I got really exhausted so I came back and had like an hour long nap and now I'm gonna go get some ramen for dinner. It's still raining. I wish I had like sweatpants or something but I don't so I have to go out in shorts and t-shirt. Oh, oh, I made him both. Incredible how much damage. Not so good I've basically done nothing today and I'm really tired so I ordered delivery food. I don't really know what I got so let's unpack it. It has a lot of different things in there so I'm like kind of confused why. A lot of toppings like this is so much. Damn that is what it looks like. It actually looks pretty pretty good. I'm just dipping the noodles in the sauce at this point. Mmm. I'm gonna try some now with the chili oil and we'll assess how spicy that is. Mmm. Wow. Okay, so I have just traveled kind of far and I'm getting shabu shabu for the first time. I looked on Google and it said that you have to have one here, so I'm having it. And hopefully they have good seating for one person. I feel like I'm in the wrong place though.
my god, I didn't realize what I was getting into when I went there. It was literally, the total was $70, and it was six slices of meat. It was really good, and I think I might have accidentally ordered, like, Wagyu. That's probably why it was so expensive, but $70 lunch. That's crazy. Okay, it's 10.30 in the morning. I thought my checkout was at 11 and they just called me to tell me they're kicking me out. So I got my stuff together and I'm headed out. But I'm going for lunch with another Instagrammer that I met on Instagram who lives in Tokyo. I don't know if he lives in Tokyo. And after that, I'm going to Kyoto and taking the bullet train, which I'm very excited about. <laughs> Mm. 